I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, my computer's being dumb. Sorry. But um, we were out of town and then had to go back to work. Ugh. But today the girls are having an ice day. We live in South Georgia. Well, mostly South, like the southern part of Georgia. Our county was not even in the weather, the weather advisory. And school was just like, yeah, no, we're not having school today. Let's all watch football. You know, oh, wait, no, it's ice. It's ice. Okay. So, just had to get that out of my system because I was just like, really? I'm, I'm all for having a day off work, but it needs to be legit. Um, boss wasn't too happy when I was like, no, I can't come in. I don't have a babysitter. So, pardon the way I look because ice day equals pajamas and no makeup. Um, my hair is clean though. You know, fabulous, whatever. Um, eyebrows barely there, barely existing. <laughs> um, anyway, but I want to talk about... Um, Number one, I, want, I have several things I want to talk about. Number one, I want to talk about how many dolls I have. I think I need rehab. So I have 30 dolls um, after gifting two dolls to my daughters for Christmas out of my collection that were Kanani because I really didn't bond with her and JLY24 again for the same reason because I have Tinny and I was just like, eh, they're too similar. And it worked out. One daughter wanted Kanani, one daughter wanted 24. It was great. Um, less money I had to put out for their Christmas gifts. Um, so yeah, 30 dolls. Um, I added Luciana on January 1st. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about in a minute. We're going to talk about Lucy. Um, but, um, I also want to talk about how I noticed today. Okay. Josephina mold is totally my favorite face mold of any doll that they have ever made like I love that face mold and like my three favorite dolls laying around me right now I have my Emma which you guys have seen she's my create your own she's a Josie mold I have Lana which is JLY 66 also gorgeous Josie mold and then of course I have Lucy which we'll get to her in a minute um because I'm actually going to do a little comparison between her and 66 um but I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to count and see how many of each mold doll I have. Y'all, I have more classic molds than Josie molds. How does that even happen? Because Josie mold is mold. I can't talk. Josie mold is totally my favorite. But I only have 10 of Josie. I think I have, I think it was 12 classic molds that I counted. I have two of the Sonali mold. I have Melody and Gabriella. And I have two Marie Grace molds which are both customs um, because her face is just really fun to customize I don't know why um, but yeah so I thought I was a Josie mold snob and then realized I have more classic molds like I don't even know how that happened but anyway one day I will do a video and like show you every one of my dolls but that will take a lot because half of them are in here in my bedroom and the other half are out until in the living room area until I can get a larger display area because I love my house, but it's not that big. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about going to AG Doll Rehab, y'all, for real. Okay, so let's talk Lucy. Um, comment if you purchased her, if you like her. Um, if you don't like her, hey, that's cool too. Every, every doll is not for every person. Um, and we're going to talk, first of all, I'm just going to talk about Lucy and I'm going to show you some features of her that I like, dislike. Um, there's not much that I dislike. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just feel free to comment and leave your opinions as well. Um, subscribe. I'm going to try to get up to doing um, one video per week. But being that we just got through the holidays, that was exactly not really possible. Um, but starting this week so I'm hoping to do one maybe every Sunday Monday afternoon something like that um, Mondays may be a little harder with school and everything but okay let's talk about Lucy so here is my Lucy isn't she pretty and she is dressed I, I know everybody is going insane over the $75 NASA spacesuit and I'm just over here like I like the shiny pajamas y'all and they were like $28 $24 something like that Dude, look at all the sparklies and her shiny stars. And oh my goodness, I love shiny stuff, y'all. So I'm just like, oh, NASA spacesuit. Okay, cool. $75. Nah. 
I'd rather get the doll, I mean, and some other stuff and not use all my extra money on a space suit, even though I totally could have gotten it because I'm buried until February of next year. That's how much I buy. <laughs> I have a problem, I told you. So, things that I like um, about her, I do like that they decided, and I know it's kind of hard to like find if you're playing with her hair, but you can kind of see. I really like the purple streak. I like it because it is actually, here we go, it's actually sewn in to her wig. There is no clip-ins, there's no hooks to play with, there's no worrying you're going to catch those hooks when you're brushing her hair, and I like that it is subtle enough that if I brush her hair just right, you have no idea that it's there. But I can pull like half of it back and you can totally see the whole thing, which is really cool. Um, and a complaint I've seen is her bangs. Um, so what I did to tame her bangs is I sprayed them pretty thoroughly. One lady recommended using a toothbrush. I didn't do that, although I may still yet do it because her bangs do still like to kind of stick up and fly away. But I just wet them pretty thoroughly and brushed them down. And they pretty well stay down. They kind of remind me of um, Ariel's hair, Little Mermaid, you know, that little swoop she's got going on. When I pull her hair back, like so, like if I was pulling it back in a half, I brushed them up and over. And they create this, just don't mind those flyaways, this gorgeous feather on the side, which looks really pretty on her. Um, and you can leave it like that when it's down too. And it's just, it's a matter of preference. I didn't figure any normal girl would wear feathered bangs to bed. They would probably like brush their hair out or wash their hair before bed. Um, she does have one random long piece of hair, like right dead in the middle of her bangs. Um, I just kind of try to control that as best I can because I don't want to go like lopping hair on a brand new doll. So yeah, that that's a feature that's kind of been a mixed response. Um, I do have her meat and everything. I did buy her brand new. I just, these, this is my favorite outfit. <laughs> I bought her flight suit as well. Um, okay, so let's talk about her body fabric. It is the newer, like, poly blend. Has kind of a, a, a silkier feel. Um, then, of course, as I addressed in my last video, my Create Your Own Emma has the old, thick, or thicker um, cloth fabric on the back because it is the thinner body style fabric. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can kind of see the seam through it, but that's not one of those things that bothers me so much that i would be like i'm returning this doll and getting one with a different body style i honestly think american girl is trying to revert to the older style body but they do have to sell through what they purchase so i get it i mean like this is jly 66 she has the newer style body fabric as well um and in fact the only reason she has neck strings is because I did it myself and I got to buy some more string and yay now we have a Hobby Lobby here and I can go purchase some and transfer all my zip tie girls over to um, neck strings if I want okay Lucy what is your hair doing like just straight up sticking out after I messed with it um okay so let's continue to talk about Lucy after I spray her little flyaways down real quick just a little water and a brush I mean and it works wonders her hair lays down great See? okay let's talk about her panties I was very pleased with this you guys they are the old style cotton that does not snag on the velcro now Emma also has that style of panties but JLY 66 or Lana as you'll hear me refer to her because that's her name has these weird polyester silky ones that if the velcro catches them it causes all kinds of pulls and stuff like that um i've actually sewn underwear for some of my dolls to replace some that did that so um another pro about miss lucy her hair is not very long if you have a young girl just getting into american girl 
or maybe just you know younger sister of the older sister got you know has like 10 dolls and she doesn't have any and she's wanting a big girl doll you know bitty baby just ain't cutting it I, you know everybody recommends kit because of her hair length i just kit doesn't have quite enough hair for me i have to have something i can do something with this hair is just long enough just past her shoulders to where you could still do some styles um she's actually shown in the magazine as having like two braids a half pony um which i have done with two little twists on either side it was super cute um two buns two braids you could do a low pony with her hair because it's kind of short i'm afraid a, a high pony would look funny um but those are some styling options with her hair that you could do that a little younger girl who likes to style hair could do without fear of oh i'm gonna mess this doll's hair up you know i'm gonna i'm gonna mess this brand new doll up um my littlest one got kanani and everyone who knows who kanani is you guys know her hair is like to here which this kanani i got used so and i didn't pay very much for her at all so i didn't mind but within her hat she got her for christmas and let's see we had our christmas on like the 22nd a little earlier than most people but within her having her for like a week she sleeps with her and Kanani goes everywhere with her except school so Kanani's hair was like this big you guys it was awful and I was like would you like me to do something with your doll's hair and she's like yeah mommy here you go so I was like okay and um it's now in two long braids so hopefully I won't have to brush it like that again and tear half of her hair out one day she'll get a new head all right so anyway back to Lucy so yeah I feel like this is a great great starter doll for a young child who maybe doesn't know how to care for one yet or like I said just really wanting one and you're afraid that they'll mess it up this would be a good starter her hair is a good length okay now moving on to comparison between her and Lana which is JLY 66 so I was actually scared I always go on the first or at least close to the first and get the new doll and I was so terrified I was like these dolls look so similar what if I get in there and they look so similar I'm just like eh because I collect girl of the year and so I was just like what am I gonna do I'm gonna get her but if she looks similar to the other doll I may not bond with her well fortunately um she is different enough with her little side bang and her purple hair in addition to a few other things I'm gonna talk about um the first being hair length okay so as you can see lucy's hair is to the bottom of her shoulders while lana's hair is almost the same length as emma's it's like waist length like right here mid waist um i've seen i got this number 66 before they changed over to the new blue outfit um i have it right here this one before they changed over to this outfit so she actually came in the lavender meat um and her hair is shorter than any other 66 i've seen i'm not unhappy with it it's fine but it's just it's a little shorter i've seen some with hair all the way down to here and then when it hangs down the front it's like down here and i'm like how did your 66 get such long hair i'm so jealous but um but i love lana she's she's pretty she's a beautiful beautiful doll with her hair hanging in her face so anyway um so that's one difference another difference i couldn't tell from the pictures that i saw because i didn't get a catalog till after i got luciana you know so i could didn't even really get to look at close-up pictures of her i was afraid their hair was going to be the same color it is not as you can see lana here has black hair and luciana has dark brown hair i actually compared her to um samantha so her hair is actually the same color as Samantha. If you don't have Samantha, there's a couple of JLY dolls with the same color hair, dark brown. Um, that would be her hair color. So I was really happy that that difference was in place because even with the bangs and the purple, if her hair had been black, I would have just been like, oh, they're so similar. It makes me want to cry. Um, they do have the same brown eyes. I will hold them up each in turn 
to the camera so you can see very brown and very brown no I'm holding her by her neck that's terrible isn't it um so there's that another small difference this doll has something on her cheek sorry another small difference I noticed is their eyebrows they both have the th the thicker style feather eyebrows like Leah so if you've got Leah seen Leah you know what I'm talking about the difference is the arch I don't know if I can get them close enough for you to see at the same time but Lucy has more of an arch like Leah which actually I've seen some people say it gives her an older girl look while Lana has a little arch but not so much not as much um now Emma my creature on her eyebrows are more are similar to Rebecca's they're more of just this nice they're not lined they're feathered but they're not as full I guess as these girls um and I do feel like I feel like it gives them an older look I feel like Lana and Lucy look a little older than most of my girls most of my dolls um I call them my girls <laughs> but yeah so that's another slight difference another um another thing about these about the newer dolls and I've seen people say well their eyes don't close all the way you know you can still see the white I'm a collector and that just doesn't bother me like they lay down their eyes are closed it's good enough they look like they're sleeping my daughter sleeps with her eyes open y'all so I guess this just doesn't bother me because I'm used to it I don't know okay so that is Miss Lucy our newest member addition to the to my doll family to the girl of the year collection that I have um again very pleased with her oh another thing I noticed and this is just on her pajamas I was really happy with I didn't pay attention when I opened them I just opened them up and put them into the doll clothing I actually just put them on her today I was really happy that American Girl did not do that baloney where the velcro stops here and then you have the seam to here and you have to pull them up over the doll's legs that just aggravates me to no end just put velcro like they did on this have an open seam let me just put it on look i dress my dolls the way i dress myself i put the pants on first then the shirt then the shoes socks whatever and accessories so if i put the pants on first and then i realize well crap i've got to pull this shirt up over it maybe i should take the pants back off you know that's just a waste of time um anyway so that's all i've got for you for today and for miss lucy oh i did forget to mention i noticed and maybe this is why there's so many issues with these eyes her eye sockets are smaller than any other josie mold i have it actually ends like you can see it ends here if you look at get up here my 66 her eyes are more open I don't know if that makes sense I posted some pictures um in one of the groups on my Facebook and I, I mean you can see the difference there I don't know if you can see the difference on the camera it's not enough to bother me it's just something I noticed it, it's not a big deal that may be why the eyes are not closing all the way because the sockets are not big enough maybe I don't know anyway but like I said that's all I got for you today leave a comment um, subscribe if you like my videos I, I hope you do um, and I do hope to upload another doll video very soon um hopefully by next sunday or monday so i hope you guys have a great week and see you soon bye